Today, we're going to discuss how to forgive. I think before we talk about how to forgive, we should probably talk about why forgiveness is important. I know when I was younger, my belief was that, well, I was told, you know, I needed to forgive and forget. And that never made sense to me because, you know, when I felt wronged, when I was angry, when I had a resentment, why was I supposed to be forgiving and forgetting? Because then they would be able to do it to me again. And what I was taught was that forgiveness has nothing to do with the other person. If you take a look at your life and think about how much time, energy, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, financial, do you spend focused on resentment? I think you'd be amazed at how much time is wasted just thinking about the anger that you have towards somebody else. Forgiveness is about freeing yourself. And again, this was a concept that I was introduced to when I first started my journey of personal development and self-awareness. And at that point in my life, I had really no desire to forgive. That wasn't what I was about. At that point, I was trying to figure out how to stay alive. For those of you who are familiar with my story, you know that when I was introduced to the ideas of changing my life, I had some huge leverage for myself. I believed fully that if I didn't change, either I was going to die or I was going to kill somebody else when I was under the influence and then I would live in jail for the rest of my life with that responsibility. So I had a lot of leverage to do what people told me. So when I was in rehab and I was told that I needed to begin forgiving the people that I was angry at, I didn't really question why, I questioned how. And what they told me I needed to do was that for two weeks, this was the exercise that they gave me, for two weeks every night when I went to bed, I was supposed to think about the things that I wanted for myself and then wish for those things for this other person. It sounded insane to me. <laughs> I'm supposed to wish for all the things that I desire most for myself for a person I hate because at that point in my life, I hated a lot of people. But I did it because again, I can't describe the mental state that I was in other than to say I was willing to do whatever it took, whatever somebody told me if it meant that it was going to help me stay sober for another day. So I did it and it worked. I, I'm not gonna say that it completely and totally erased the anger that I had, but it reduced it by probably 90, 95% to where I wasn't spending so much energy, focusing so much energy on the people that I was upset with, and it gave me the ability to focus on working on me. Forgiveness is about taking care of our side of the street. Forgiveness is about being able to move forward, about being able to grow. Because what I also learned as I progressed in my own spiritual journey, my self-awareness journey, was that Everything, my belief is, everything happens for a reason and it's there to give us opportunities for growth, it's there to give us lessons, it's there to give us experiences that we would not have had without that experience happening. As an example, my father left my mother standing at the altar, he didn't show up for the wedding. He was not a part of my life for my whole childhood. The first time that I remember interacting with my father face to face was when I was 21 years old. And it was not a good interaction because at that point I was in the height of my drinking and drug use. And when him and I met face to face, I had already been drinking for the majority of the night. So the interaction with him was not a civil one. I actually humiliated him in front of a bar full of other people. Later on, as I got to the point of being sober, and I do have to say this at this point, you know, about everything happening for a reason, 
the night that he and I interacted together, I believe one of the reasons for it was that it gave me a glimpse of who I was turning into. All the bad things that I had heard about him, I saw in myself that night. And I believe that it was a catalyst for me getting sober three years later. 11 years, no, I'm sorry, 14 years after that interaction I had with him in the bar, I had grown to the point in my own self-development that I decided it was time for me to reach out and apologize to him for the way that I had treated him that night. Because in my own growth, I recognized that I had hurt just as many people as he did, just as badly, and possibly worse. And that I needed to apologize to him because I now had compassion for where he was in his journey. <clears throat> I do have to say that I reached out to him when I was 35 years old and that the phone call that we had was not the Oprah type of reconnection that happens. And I want to warn you that sometimes when you are approaching someone to forgive them or to apologize, you have to remember that this is about cleaning up yourself not how they're going to react. Because the situation was not, again, one of those hallmark moments. Phone conversation lasted about five minutes. And when we got off the phone, I actually came to a place of peace that he and I, were, we were never going to have a relationship. And as I sat back and reviewed the conversation and reviewed his role in my life, I looked at it from a, <clears throat> excuse me, I looked at it from a totally different perspective. By this point, I had been studying more spiritual approaches to life. And I looked at it from the role of how did he positively impact me? Even though for years I had anger towards him for the fact that he was not a father for me and I had to grow up without a father and I had to go through all these things. <laughs> I looked at it and realized that by his not being a part of my life, it helped me to become the person I was very proud to be. By his not being there for me as a child, it made me totally committed to being there in my daughter's life, even when I knew that her mother and I were not going to be together. And it made it so much easier to release the anger and forgive the things that I used to hold against him. So very quickly, two exercises on how to forgive. The first one is, again, it may not make any sense, and if you do it, you're going to experience a shift in the emotion you feel towards the person. For two weeks, every night when you go to bed, think about what it is that you want in your own life, a loving relationship, financial prosperity, peace, good health, any of the things that you want for yourself. And when you think about that, wish those same things for the other person. If you pray, pray that they receive those things. The second is a little bit more of an esoteric exercise. And the idea is to look back at your life, at any of the experiences that you had. And I know that sometimes these are very traumatic experiences. Detach yourself, look at it, and ask yourself what positive opportunity was created because of that experience. And rather than holding on to the anger for what you felt was done to you, Thank the person for the opportunity that opened up. Again, I know that's not easy for a lot of people. We actually have an article about that on the website that will give you more details. Maybe you can share some things with me that you use for forgiveness. I look forward to hearing your results. I look forward to connecting again soon. Take care. For a transcription of the video you just watched, more videos, and related articles, visit yourdailylifecoach.com. To comment on this video, select Discussion Forums on any page of our website.